Drama, drama, shabang, shaboom, boom, pow. It's time to give the review. Hurricane Irene has left and so has the MTV Messy Music Awards. It's time to give the reads. Who was hot, who was not, who should have stopped with the jokes, and who should have stayed home. Here on Emoji Couture TV. Ow. This is an Emor J Couture exclusive. If it's hot, I'll say it's hot. But if it's a mess, baby. MTV Music Awards, you gotta keep in mind that you're gonna expect a little bit more creativity. You're gonna expect people to try new things, some fail, some succeed. So pretty much when dealing with MTV, you never know what you're gonna get. It's not the Grammys as to where you know people are going to be edgy but still formal. It's not the Tony Awards where you give elegant all day and night. However, with MTV, you just never know what you're gonna get. It's kind of like when you go to a fast food restaurant, maybe the best or the worst in the rest in, in, in the neighborhood, and you order something and you're hoping that they're gonna give you the best of what they have that day, but when you open it, you realize, girl, that oh my god, I got a hot mess. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. Starting with who else? Lady Gaga, or should I say the man? Lady Gaga, wow. You know, when she first came out, I was like, okay, what is she gonna do now? She came out as a guy, and I'm like, Whatever. So she gets into this whole monologue reminding me of something of color from the movie Color Purple. And she's just talking and talking about that. I guess she's trying to bring you into the whole theme. But in my opinion, why not just use a monitor to tell like a little one second or a 30, 30, 35 second movie of, of what you're trying to convey? Because you talking about it clearly did not draw me into what you were trying to convey in the first place. So Lady Gaga gets up there with this whole monologue about her being this guy and this guy Joe with Lady Gaga and how Lady Gaga doesn't really open up to him and I'm like first of all can you just start singing girl because honestly you already you already you I don't have that much time for you Miss, Miss Gaga so after she gets off to her little off of her monologue she goes into her song the song is cute the song is okay I appreciate the video much more she gets into the whole song she almost slips on a bottle of liquor because she's swirling and throwing the bottle around the stage acting like a nutcase once again doing too many gimmicks to make up for her lack of talent but that's another that's neither here nor there we love lady gaga she's cute for what she does anyway so throughout the whole show i'm thinking that just this whole little man stunt is for the actual award ceremony but no she continues to drag this character along throughout the whole production and i'm like girl you know what it really wasn't that funny and it wasn't it really wasn't that and it really wasn't that much for you to drag off the whole story money anyway. So why are you, you know, playing this character? Hang it up, let it go, and move on with the show. Put a dress on, keep it moving. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Kevin Hart, the host of the show. Wow, really do we have Kevin Hart from BET hosting something for MTV? And his jokes, I'm sitting there twiddling my thumbs like... I don't get it. When is he going to actually start with the whole thing? Kevin Hart to me is not funny. Kevin Hart to me is rather behind with his jokes. It, it Kevin Hart has a type of comedy so you have to sit there, think about it, let it hit you, and then you're like, oh, okay, yeah. The whole thing with the STDs in the Jersey Shore, throwing STDs into the audience, the little cracks about little Wayne, I'm like... Okay, next. Can you just start hosting the show? Once again, everybody's just rambling on, on, on MTV. People were just rambling. Like, where, did, where is everybody rambling about, about? Can we just get into the show? Can we just start the performances? Can we just start giving away the awards? What you're doing is you're holding up camera time. Right now, you can be showing a perfectly good ad, but you have Kevin Hart cracking these lame peanut gallery jokes. Girl, please, MTV, next. Hire someone better. Get back to your old stunts. Take notes when you have Will Smith and Jada and all those people doing their thing because, honestly, See Kevin Hart's lame. Hot messes of the evening, and Nicki Minaj rolled right off of my tongue. Nicki, you know what? <laughs> you, you lost me 
at the Billboard Music Awards when you came out with that big chicken and it just reminded me of a circus charade. Then you come on to the MTV Music Awards. Now let me tell you, let me give you some history about the MTV Music Awards. I understand that it's for your creative atmosphere. It's for you to try something new. It's not like your Grammys that's where you can expect people to be edgy but still elegant. And it's not like your Tony Awards where people want to be conservative and things. However, with the MTV Awards, you just never know what you're going to get because this is the time where people want to try their hand and just try to go as far as they possibly can. So, Nicki Minaj bringing it on back to her. Girl, what were you thinking? With that, with, really with that outfit, maybe I would have gotten and liked the concept of the outfit if it was in some type of magazine for some editorial type of advertisement. However, I didn't get it. The whole carrying around toys with you, it just really made me look more of you as a clown, as a joke, as a buffoon, as a tree creature. It really didn't actually help me appreciate you as an artist. And then you won for Video Music Award of the Year, I believe, and I'm sitting there like, okay, after all of those people that were nominated, we chose Superbass for this. Was it Superbass? I think it was super bad. That's the only one that she has anyway. It's kind of like sort of creative. But um, just looking at Nikki, she's just not relying on her skill and her talent. She's doing so many gimmicks and so many stunts. It's like they're just using her and they're just, she's losing her essence to me. And it's like she's just a big joke. It's like she's a laughing stock the hallway in high school and everybody's making fun of her. She clearly thinks everybody likes her. She's just walking around smiling and waving. And it's like, girl, we're not laughing with you. We're laughing at you because you're a joke. Next. Oh my god, and with the lines, let's bring it on back. Girl, Nicki Minaj, you know, Nicki, let's rely more on your talent. When she was presenting an award, I can't remember exactly who it was for, but clearly she was reading off of the lines, her and the actor beside her, and it was just like, oh, and Gee, my gosh, this is terrible. Let these people be themselves because reading off of these cue cards and off of this monitor is not working for them. They're sitting there like, so, with the joke, I don't think that's supposed to be a joke, but anyway, that was kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, oh, what the heck? It's on a monitor. But I'm like, it's, it's so tired. Let these artists be themselves, MTV. Please stop feeding them off of the monitor because it's really not working. Next, Katy Perry. You know, I, I like Katy. I, Katy. I was sold on Katy Perry throughout the um, throughout the Victoria's Secret Awards because I loved her thing. I love this whole little, this little fantasy land thing. But for the MTV Music Awards, to me, it was, it was, it was just, unnecessary. The outfit to me was lame. I didn't like the pattern. I didn't like the color choices. I didn't like the gray mixed in with the sort of the purple and the fuzzy balls. I just, I didn't, I didn't like it. I would have preferred something a little bit more chic and fun on her. I would have preferred more of a, just something a little bit more poofy or something more girly rather than her trying to be so abstract. And then I think I saw on the much Musical war special where she had like this cube on the top of her head and I'm just sitting there like okay Lady Gaga has really started this whole wave of putting trash and garments and toys and all type of crap on your outfit to see who can be extra overly creative but everybody's showing up looking like hot messes. So I think that we need more no people working as stylists rather than yes them, yes them, that's cute Miss Katy Perry. Oh yes them, that's cute Miss Nicki Minaj. Oh yes girl, you better wear this girl. Oh yes, honey, yes, you are cut boots, honey, shaboots, boots, boots, girl. Put that Barbie doll in the pot in the back of your ponytail and wear the outfit, girl. Yes, honey, is that a toaster oven, girl? Put that toaster on your head and went to the war show. Yes, girl, is that a tampon? Girl, you better put that as a bra, put the tampons all around the bra part right there, girl. That is so fly, that is so cute. And I'm sitting there like, is no one going to tell this girl? And girl, stop. Bring it back. Rewind it. Let's do something else because this look is not hitting it. Let's talk about great performances this evening. We're going to start with Adele. Adele, to me, was absolutely hot. She represented Timeless with her performance. If you were to look at, back five years or ten years from now, you're going to appreciate Adele's performance. Her dress was contemporary and fly. She gave me all black dresses, even on the red carpet and her performance. I loved the black texture that she had with this sheer on it when she was doing her performance. I loved it. Adele, when she performs, gives me confidence. She gives me grace. Her vocals were strong. They were on point. 
And I have to say that her CD, she really did a line up with her vocals and her CD. She's not some studio artist, which she's only good for in the studio. She was actually good during a live performance. So I'm thankful that she really did bring that to the Video Music Awards. They really did need that class. So great jobs for Adele. I loved it. Let's talk about Kanye West and Jay-Z. Now, I have to say, Watch the Throne CD, I do have it, and it's a fly CD. It's definitely something that I'm happy these two forces came together and made a CD. It was just magic. I love their performance. And this is how fly Kanye and Jay-Z are. They don't have to perform with the suits, and they don't have to give you all the gimmicks and all the stunts. They're going to get out there in their shoes, in their jeans, with their little, little animal fox tails on and do the thing like to me it was a flat performance it was simple they stuck to the vocals they stuck to the rap lyrics they stuck to a great performance and it worked they didn't have any crappy any crappy uh stunts and any other type of gimmicks to you know focus the attention off of their performance they were great let's talk about chris brown now with chris brown chrissy chrissy Chris, chrissy hey girl I have to say, Chris Brown is a cool guy. I loved his dance moves. I love how he broke out and did the thing. He brought it back with the Wu-Tang. I was very appreciative of Chris Brown and his, what do I want to call that? His groom white. Groom white, yes, his wedding white. You know, he flew through the air. He was giving me Las Vegas showgirl stunts. He was giving me drag you, drag queen performance. I mean, he just really just gave me above and beyond with his whole thing. So I have to say, Chris Brown, I did like it. You did an excellent job and you were on playing with the dance moves once again. Great job for you. Hmm, who else performed that evening? The Britney Spears Tribute. The Britney Spears Tribute to me, I have to say that if it was not for the kids doing it and it was actually adults, I probably would have skipped it because to me it was like Britney Spears does she really would deserve some type of award but you know she's never been nominated for anything like this before she's never received a tribute so why not just go ahead and give it to her I mean talent is gone these days anyway but I felt that it was the kids and they were doing what they had to do they were making it work they were making it pop so great job for the children let's talk about Miss Britney Spears now, I'll say this. I'm going to clock her teeth real fast. I'm just going to make it real quick. Brittany, I love your album. What is it called again? Can't remember. Oh, well. But I have to say, Brittany Spears, you're better to me in the studio. I like hearing from you and not seeing you because Brittany, when you see her in person, she has no star effect to me anymore. She has no star quality. Brittany is just so washed up to me. And I'm sitting there looking at her like, wow. Even at once again, the Billboard Music Awards, I'm thinking that maybe, okay, she just had a bad award show. She was tired. She wasn't able to keep up. It's okay. It's understandable. But you're dragging those same tired spirits along at the MTV Music Awards. Girl, go to the gym. Get yourself together. Get yourself a trainer. Get your hair done. Get an act and perform. Because to me, I don't see a star, I just see stay-at-home mom. Bruno Mars, I love Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars is giving me just, he gives me Little Richard when Little Richard was just starting up. And I don't mean performance-wise, I mean the hairdo. I love the hairdo on Bruno Mars. I love his attire. It wasn't over the top, but it wasn't dull either. He just looked great with his contemporary suit on. I love I loved his effect. Bruno Mars rocks. I mean, how can you go wrong with Bruno, right? Justin Bieber. Wow, Justin, Justin Bieber. Justin, to me, he didn't need the glasses, in my opinion. I don't know why he had those shades or it didn't make him any cooler than what he's trying to be. I, Justin, Justin was cool. Every time I see Justin, though, I'm always thinking of Ellen DeGeneres. I'm just thinking that in 2012, he's going to come out the closet and say he's, or he was a woman, he was pre-op, he just had his surgery, next he's going to get a boob job. That's the only thing I can think of when I ever see Justin Bieber. I just don't see a male there for some reason. Justin, are you going to surprise me in the future? Now we're going to start talking about who else is up there. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get to it because I know what you guys want to talk about, but I, I want to save that to the end. Little Wayne. Little Wayne. Ugh, when I, when I say that, I just want to wash my hands. I, wanna, I just want to cleanse myself. Little Wayne. Little Wayne, why? You know, he started off, you know, rappers going to be singers. Not a good move. He started off singing, dragging along with this whole auto-tune kind of thing, I guess trying to get you into the whole thing. Then this clown broke out with this just buffoonery, ripped off his shirt, pants sagging in skinny jeans. Can we please let this trend go? Hey, prison guards, take him on back, because he keeps taking the trends from the prison to off to the, to the runway, to the streets, to the stage. Okay? Little Wayne... Why? I really couldn't even get into his performance because there was so much cussing going on. I mean, it was just like, what? 
You couldn't even, I mean, could we get a clean version so we can get into you lyrically? And then you were the closing act. Yeah, right. The, you, Lil Wayne, the closing act for MTV Music Awards? Well, it is messy, so why not? Okay, let's just go ahead and talk about what I want to talk about. This has been the breaking news, and I have to say that this performance uplifted me inside. Oh, yes, we're talking about Miss Beyonce. Yeah! Let me tell you something about Beyonce's performance. Now, let, don't, let me tell you this about me, a little bit of past history about me. I have most of Beyonce's CDs. However, I'm not her number one fan, and I'm not some diehard type of fan either. But I have to say that Beyonce, there was something about her performance that I've never seen. And her performance to me was alive. I mean... This could have been the opening and the closing for the show. Beyonce was just alive on stage. She was radiating, and we all know why. I mean, but she was just alive and vocally. She just had me into the song. I've never even paid attention to the song. She was, got my love, you got me down on the top. Get it down, you make me up on top. You gave me the glory, you give me what I need. Yeah, you give me what I do. I'm like, yes. Yes, Beyonce. Okay. I'm feeling you. And then the end, oh my God, when she revealed that she was pregnant, she didn't even wait for the media to tell it. She told it on herself. Yes, Beyonce, why didn't you close the show? See how messy MTV really is? But you know what? It's okay. One day they'll hire a producer, and somebody will fix it all up for them. But anyway, Beyonce, congratulations. We hope that the baby has more of your genes and not Jay-Z's. But anyway, we love you, girl. Yeah, shake and shimmy. If you can see what I'm doing, I, I wish I could just open up this blazer and just rub my stomach, too. I'm, I'm rubbing my stomach like Beyonce. I'm giving the whole Beyonce effect. Got my love, got me on the top. Hey, you're the only one. I need a man. God dang. Okay, but back to the show. Anyway, but um, the MTV Music Awards, like I said, can go either one way or the other. It can either be great or it can be a hot mess. And I have to say, throughout the years, it's just like MTV is just getting cornier. Well, that's pretty much my review of the MTV 2011 Music Awards. I'm hoping that next year they really do get themselves together, as in with production. And I'm definitely hoping that more of the artists realize how they want to portray themselves when it comes to the MTV Video Awards. Invest in a stylist that's actually going to work for you and not for you. Do you get what I'm saying? Now, I want you guys to leave your comments. Leave some of your reviews. Who did I leave out? Because you know it had to be some hot mess person I left out. But I want you guys to leave your comments things behind as well. Trust me, I do read them. So I want you guys to definitely just stay tuned for more Emoji Couture TV. You don't know where I'm going to be next.